Hi devs, welcome to the another video of Django package series. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to add tagging functionality to your models. As you know, categories and tags help you organize your website or blog and help your users to find the information they want. The category list is like the table of contents for your blog. However, the tag is more specific and addresses items for a particular blog post. By tagging an article with relevant keywords, user can find information easily, so it makes your blog to look more professional. Let me introduce you the package named Django Tag Kit, which is a reusable application that offers you a tag model and a manager for easily adding tags to any model. So we will create very simple blog app and implement tagging functionality into it. Let's start by creating new Django project and then install the Django Tag Kit package. Finally, I'm able to create a new Django project. Now inside the project, create a new app named Posts. Let's configure the settings. Add posts in installed apps and define template path. OK, and now you can install the package by pip install Django tag git command. I installed the package before this tutorial, so that's why it shows requirements already satisfied. Once it's installed, include tag git app in your installed apps. Now open models.py and let's create our post model. The fields are going to be title, description, publish date, and slug. I guess you're already familiar with these fields. Actually, I don't like to navigate details of post by its ID, uh, but the main reason is TagKit cannot display tags for a particular post by using post ID. So using slug field is really important point here. And the final field is tags that will instance of taggable manager class, which I will import in a second. From TagKit manager, import taggable manager. So the taggable manager will show up automatically as a field in a model form uh, or in the admin. You can separate tags by commas, so if the input doesn't contain any commas, uh, it's simply treated as space delimited list of tag names. I will put documentation link in the description of this video, uh, so feel free to check for more detailed information. Now let's create a new form named post form and the fields are going to be title, description and tags. Since we included tags to our model form, we are not going to render it by Django's template language. You will see the reason later in this video. Now let's open views and start by importing post from models and post form uh, from forms and finally import tag model from tag it. Next, create a new function named home view. Uh, we will get all objects ordered by publishing date. And let's display the common tags for our blog by using most common function. Um, four tags will enough, I think. All right, this part is very important, so please listen carefully. 
We are going to save our form as usual, uh, commit will false and just simply slugify the title to convert our post title to valid slug and of course to define the slug field of the post. Then we are saving our form data. However, when saving a form, you have to call save, uh, save m2m function uh, right after you save the object. Without this function, your tags will not save and as a result, request will fail. So please keep in mind you have to use this function to save your tags. I want to show you one more functionality which is very cool and as I stated before it will help user to find the information easily in your blog. We are going to filter posts by tag names, so by using tag model we can get specific tag by its slug and then we can filter our posts by using this particular tag. Now let's create detail view function to display details of post so user can see the tags for specific post. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time on templates that's why I already created HTML files and static files to show you the result. So we have base HTML detail and home HTML. Uh, this is our post form and in input tags you can see name attribute uh, which is our form fields in HTML template. We have to overwrite the tag input to include data role attribute. So that's the main reason why we didn't render it by Django's template language. This one will show common tags for our blog. And finally, we are displaying tags by iterating tags for particular post object. When user will click on a specific tag, the filter function will show posts which have same tag. Finally, configure URLs. Uh, it's really simple, just include slug field uh, for details and tagged view. Great, now we can run the project and see the result. I already created an object and you can see it displays tag successfully. Let's create another post uh, to test the form. We are using jQuery plugin which provides a Twitter bootstrap user interface for managing tags. Uh, this plugin basically will change text inputs to actual tags. You can find this CSS and JavaScript files from my GitHub repo. When you click uh, enter, the text automatically will turn into actual tag. Let's click the planets tag for example to see uh, what happens. It will show posts uh, which includes planets tag. I will add few more posts to show you clearly. So that's all for this tutorial, I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, you can find this project from my github, I will put the link in the description of this video. So see you soon devs and stay connected.